This is the information takeoff layout. In the information takeoff layout, we have various views. We have the model tree in the top left hand corner. We have the classification view where we can define classes of various model elements. We have the selection basket below that. We have the info view, the 3D view on the right hand side, and then of course the information takeoff view where the actual takeoff work is done. The purpose of the information takeoff uh, layout is to capture information from the BIM file to be used for many purposes. There's a collection of predefined ITOs or information takeoffs, but you can also make uh, information takeoffs uh, on the fly. So let's take a look at an example of ITO. First we need to make sure that we have the classifications that we need for our purposes. So currently we have space groups. Let's go ahead and add one classification. Uh, depending on your role you may choose the classifications you need. Uh, we click the open classifications option and we can see the, that list available. Let's go ahead and select the building elements classification for this example. Now once we've loaded our building elements classification uh, we can examine the results and see that it's now classified or our model is now classified based on certain specific criteria. These are typically set up in the classification settings so if we choose our classification settings Depending on what kind of components we are dealing with, you may set up different filters or rules. For example, in this case, that uh, walls of a certain type belong to the exterior wall class. In this case, walls that include the word exterior uh, are defined and classified as exterior walls. So this is then applied when we are running the information takeoff. Let's go ahead and look at one ITO that is predefined. We're going to go ahead and uh, again see a list that is based on our role. Uh, this time we'll look at again building element quantities. So we'll choose our building element quantities ITO and hit OK. And what we'll see is our information takeoff layout uh, reflecting that uh, that uh, information takeoff. So uh, the columns that are shown are used to collect information from the model and use the building element type classification on the left hand side. This indicates that these definitions require some of the rule sets uh, to be executed without any major problems. These indicators uh, don't uh, have any bearing on our run. They're really just important since you can't rely on the information unless you've checked corresponding rules and at least cleared out the most obvious problems. So once we have our uh, definition uh, set up we can run the take off all button and that will cover the information of the entire model. You can see that color codes were used for defining the components here like the basement excavation floor construction indicating that slabs of a certain type have a net area volume and how many components are are used and all of these are separated by color codes. If we want to view just a specific type it can be done by highlighting like this. Uh, exterior walls uh, can be visualized in a similar way. So currently we're looking at floor construction. We can uh, change to the exterior walls building elements and of course they'll be uh, shown in a similar uh, in a similar light. In general, uh, the idea is that you can always see what, is, uh, what has been taken off. Uh, the idea of color coding is to identify where different types, styles, or classes of components are located. Information takeoffs can also be reported. Uh, reports are done here. We click the report icon. In this case, we'll use an Excel template report. We've uh, pre-built and formatted templates for several ITO definitions that come with the system. Of course, if you create your own quantity takeoff definitions, you can also create your own uh, templates for reports as well. And of course, these templates can be modified. 
So let's go ahead and save out the report using the building element quantities template. And we will uh, obviously uh, see the example Excel file. Once again, you'll see a note saying that certain rule sets needed to be executed and with no major problems uh, in the model. Uh, those should be checked uh, first before reporting these quantities out. This is just a reminder that you may still have some problems with the quantities. If you notice, we use takeoff all for collecting information from the whole model. It's also possible to take off just part of the model. So let's close our report. Here we'll just look in the model tree. So I'm going to uh, go up to the model to my model tree, choose uh, just a specific floor. So in this case, we'll choose just the first floor. Okay, if we hit the equal sign, we're actually setting those to the selection basket. So now those are our selected components, that first floor. And now instead of take off all, we'll do a take off uh, selected. Now, of course, uh, the results we see are only components on the first floor, and our report also uh, only reflects elements uh, from the floor, first floor. We can also modify any information takeoff definition by adding a new column, so I can right-click and add a new column. In this case, uh, we'll go ahead and add one for floor. And now, of course, when we do our takeoff, we'll also see components sorted by floor.